morning. I've been playing with green again today and this morning. So I thought I would share with you uh, how I came up with this eye. I'm gonna repeat it on the other eye. Let's begin. I did not use any eyeshadow primer this morning because I didn't know I was going to, I didn't know I was gonna keep the look. So the first thing I did is I went in with a uh, eyeliner brush. I think this is a Bobbi Brown. And I used some Fix Plus. It's still squirting at me. That same almost empty bottle. And then I took the green from the Moss Palette. Not the Moss Palette. The Matte Metal Palette from Kat Von D moss and I made a winged liner. Uh, I mixed it on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna draw I'm gonna draw that first. I'm drawing it along the top lash line. That's what I have so far. Then I'm going to follow my bottom lash line. I actually, what I do is I follow my bottom water line. Very simple. Like that. Then I took a flat shader brush and I took the white from this palette and kind of did a cut crease sort of dealio right here. Filled in the rest of the moving lid with the white. Then I took oak, all, all of this is in this palette. So the first I did a green mixed with some Fix Plus. Then I did some white and it's linen. Now I'm gonna take a brown. I'm sure in your palette, in your stash you have green, white, and brown. Okay, and I'm going to etch out this crease with the oak. that. I got some of the oak on my white. There we go. Then I took fringe, which is a peach, a peachy pink. And went over the top of that.
like that. Then I took linen and stamped it underneath my brow. Then I mixed the, the peach and the linen and made a transition. I took a blender brush and blended this oak. It's a clean blender brush. Let's see. This is the first time I've ever done a video where I already had one eye done. So it's, I think it's a little uh, challenging to make them alike when you don't do them one step, one step, one step, one step, right? Yeah, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to come back and work on this one. I'm uh, blending along the very outside edge of that oak with the fringe and then putting linen underneath the brow again. All right, now I'm going to work on my eyebrows and I'll show you what I used for that. Uh, I took a Wayne Goss brush and I think it's the number seven. Wow, I left my glasses in the other room. Well, we'll just see how far we get. And I took this dark brown from this Kevin Aquan palette and defined my brows. So I uh, was putting the final touches on my prior uh, St. Patty's Day look and I got inspired to try something else. Okay, now I'm going to use the Kat Von D light brown, brow struck, whatever it's called, to do the front. And then I'm gonna take a cotton, is this called a cotton swab? It's for swabbing. I'm going to swab the front of my brows, make them nice and blurry, like that. That's more of that fringe or peachy color that I was using before. Okay, now underneath my eyes, I used, this is a metallic green, it's called what? I put that underneath, kept it to the, mostly the center. Then I took gold, this is a metallic gold, 
called Flash. I'm sure y'all, many of you are huge makeup enthusiasts and have more palettes than I do, so I'm sure you have these colors somewhere. For those of you who don't have this many palettes, I'm sure you can do something like this with what you have. The reason I keep saying that is because Okay, that was green, and I did it right in the center. Oh, that is so pretty. All right, now I got some gold on my green. You know what that reminded me of? You got chocolate in my peanut butter. You got peanut butter in my chocolate. Okay, so I put the green back. Not to be confused with greenback stamps. Wow. I had NCT oil this morning. I think it makes you be random. All right, then I, I took tinsel, which is a kind of a platinum, it's not silver, it's kind of platinum, it's kind of silver reflex gold and I put that on the front I might need a, a brush for that it's called tinsel and it does indeed look like tinsel I'm putting that on the very front and the tear duct like that And out here underneath this wing. And I'm going to drag this out kind of like a bottom wing a little bit. Like that. I used a pencil. This one is called Permaplum and it's by MAC. It's a black purple. Here I'll draw it for you. And I'm putting that on my tight line. Why? Because I wanted it deep colored. I wanted to give a lot of emphasis to this outside corner. Purple makes my eyes look greener. I don't know what color my eyes are. All right, there you go. Now, I used Maybelline Instant Age Rewind underneath my eyes. I oh, know. Surprise, surprise. Hey, do y'all like my shirt? Ooh. Skinny cute. My foundation today is the Osmosis. It 
in the color have no idea I do not know it might be on the box if I still have the box okay I curled my lashes Uh, I think this is Shoot Umera. I don't know. It could be Shiseido. Maybe it's Shiseido. I like it because this is doesn't have a big arch. Arc. And my eyes are deep set. So I can get in there to my eyelashes. If it had a deep, you know, had a, oh dear, this already had mascara on it, it was sticky. Then the ends would hold the middle out away from my eye and I wouldn't be able to, wouldn't be able to curl the centers. Center, not, not curl the centers, curl the centers. Alright, the mascara I used today is the X-Rated by Smashbox. Why? Just because I wanted to pull something different out. And Pat. Pat watches my videos when he's out of town. That way he can... I don't know. I guess it's like our visit. We, uh... We don't talk on the phone when he's out of town or text. It's because unless there's something, you know, really interesting, we don't just talk to talk. When we first got together about 30 years ago, we were, uh, uh, maybe one of our record phone calls lasted seven hours. I was, uh, we chat, we stopped, we talked on the phone for seven hours. But yeah, when we first got together, we got all our phone talking out of the way. I wouldn't say we talk very much now when we're together. It looks like we talk a lot on our uh, car vlogs. But we're talking to y'all. We already know each other's, all each other's stuff. We're sharing with y'all. All right. There's one, there's one load. I still want to drag this, uh, it's called what? Drag it out a little bit. All right, um, the next thing I did is I took, just, just so I can tell you everything. Uh, what the heck? What did I bronze with? Oh, Smashbox. Another Smashbox product. This is called Halo To Go and it's in medium. It's got one of those things that you turn and it scrapes new up. I used one. I think I, it's it's a darker, it's a powder foundation, I think. And I worked that into my perimeter. Like, like a save. Oh, that was cringy too. Wow, I really cringe myself a lot lately. So I did that. Then I took this color. It's a Bare Minerals, and it's Bare Skin Light to Medium Perfect Perfecting Veil. Oh, snaky! It looks like that. 
it, it, somebody sent it to me. One of you girls sent this to me. All right, then I took a powder brush, put that in the center, and under here. All right. Then I took this Besame Vanilla Powder. I'll put in the down, but I, I just went through my stash. Since I'm on a no buy, I've been inspired to use my own stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just took some out of the lid and set underneath like that. Then I took the Makeup Forever. Uh, this is a hot a sculpting and highlighting duo. I used the highlighting side. I think this palette was called 01. And I used my Wayne Goss brush. I know, I really went through my stuff, went through all my stuff. Uh, I pulled out the Peach Passion from Estee Lauder. The camera had to cool off. I used the Peach Passion from Estee Lauder as a blush. It probably should be used as a blush topper, but I used it as a blush glow from within. Then I took Torrid from NARS. It's kind of a swish pop. I made my own swish and pop, except for instead of love is the drug, it, uh, I did it in a peach, see? It's my own swish and pop. Okay, so this is Peach Passion from Estee Lauder, and then this is Torrid. Peaching up this area. Yeah, like that. Then my lips, y'all are going to hate me for this. This is something else that you can't get anymore. This is from Archie Collection, and the color is Kiss and Don't Tell. So it's a peachy pink. If I can find something similar, I'll post it below. But a peachy pink, I bet you could mix a couple of colors and get this. And I always like to put a highlight on my top lip because I'm funny that way. There we go. I probably will regret doing that because I probably got some sticky matte gloss on my really nice brush. And then I want to uh, shoot. Oh no, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the Cover FX since this is a glowy look. My janky fan is back in my kit, my Japanese paper fan. So I'm using a Huda box to fan my face. All right, I hope you enjoyed this look. I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed making it for you. 
Y'all want to see my... Here, I'll back out so you can see my shirt. See, it's got cute pink stripes on the sleeves. It's got kind of a... I guess it's kind of got a boat neck. I don't know. I usually don't look good in boat necks because I have a... I don't know why. I don't like them. All right. This is a really, 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 really old shirt. I bet my boys were toddlers when I bought this. Thank you for what, uh... Thank you for watching this video. I am, I've enjoyed playing with greens these past two videos. Uh, leave in the comments what color you'd like me to experiment with. Next, I'm betting if Ruth uh, comments, she's going to want to say purple. And it just so happens I have a shadow that I bought that I was inspired by a, I think it was Surratt himself that was doing a makeup look. And I ordered one shadow, and that one shadow was freaking ridiculously priced. And I don't think I've ever used it. So, and I think it's purpley. I think it's purpley. Not purple, it's purpley. And uh, if you want to see me do a look with that, maybe I could do a one shadow look. Uh, anyway, 